you may have noticed a toggle in few games and benchmarks that looks like this, or this, labeled tessellation. What does it mean, and will it crush your frame rate? This is Minute Science. So you can think of tessellation as the literal division of polygons that comprise objects that we see in games and other special effects. The more divided the surface is, the more detailed and accurate quote unquote the surface will be depicted in game. If an object is graphically depicted via several triangles, then cutting each triangle in half essentially doubles the tessellation factor. But this alone, I should clarify, really changes nothing. Just because you add more polygons to an object, that does not mean that it's going to look any more dynamic. In fact, if you don't do anything but tessellate an object, you're just adding more work for the GPU. Doubling the number of shapes changes nothing if half the shapes are physically unaltered from the original ones. This 2D representation explains it a bit better, just picture it on a 3D scale. So the backdoor process, often paired with tessellation, called displacement mapping, shifts and angles these newly created shapes. Nvidia describes it as a texture that stores height information, an image that would otherwise look either blocky without tessellation, or unrealistically smooth with tessellation but without displacement mapping, now looks, well, accurate. Typically, a tessellation toggle includes a degree of this displacement built in. You see, back in the day, traditional texture mapping involved a degree of occlusion, explained in this video right here, also a minute science video. In a nutshell, certain pixels are shaded in an attempt to fool the viewer into thinking that the shape is more dynamic than it actually is. It adds a degree of artificial depth, if you will. This middle image's shape is consistent with the original one on the left, but incorporated shadows foster the illusion of depth, so it looks like it's rough, but it's actually just as smooth as the one to the left. Now, the image on the right utilizes displacement mapping, which obviously yields an accurate shape regardless of the viewing angle. Simply put, tessellation without displacement mapping would not change anything about the object, and displacement mapping without tessellation would make the object look extremely blocky. So both are needed to a degree for games to look real. In some cases, like GTA V, polygons are already incorporating large degrees of detail, so increasing tessellation changes next to nothing. In fact, you'd be hard pressed in this comparison to tell which is which. This is with tessellation maxed out, and this is with it turned off. The frame rate delta is also relatively minuscule. Other scenarios, however, including the Heaven benchmark from Unigen, offer stark tessellation contrast between maxed and off presets. Check out these stairs. I mean, they're just smooth ramps now, not even stairs anymore. The dragon also looks completely different. So depending on how the game is developed, tessellation may be one of the things you can manipulate to drastically impact its look and feel. Most of the time, maxing it out won't hurt much, but running a frame rate comparison like either of these might shed a bit more insight into GPU utilization. I'd like to thank one of our patrons for suggesting the topic in today's Minute Science video. If you'd like to be a patron, contribute in any way, shape, or form, get more active, get personal contacts with me and others who work with me on Discord servers, on WhatsApp chats, all kinds of stuff, you want to play games with me, Patreon is the way to go. It doesn't matter how much or little you donate. If you do donate a bit more, you get access to a few additional features, even our upcoming Science Studio t-shirts. Uh, all that stuff is available, will be available, if it's not already on the Patreon link so check it out in the description below also get active on other stuff on social media i appreciate y'all watching this video give it a thumbs up if you thought it was cool thumbs down for the opposite click the subscribe button if you haven't already stay tuned for more content like this this is science studio thanks for learning with us